Hey guys, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Alright, since last time I did a little bit of training, as you can see I'm on level 12 now, and more importantly, you may notice I have well over a thousand Moodle points now, because I have just created a Moodle room. Pretty much what I did, I, was, I, created, I used the Moodle room card on the old treasure room I had here to make the Moodle room. So I'm going to show this guys off to you real quick. Moodle Shop is a Moodle establishment where you can trade in cards. Exchange cards you don't need any more for Moodle points. Save them enough points you can trade them in for a new pack. You get a free card pack for the first time you visit a Moodle Shop. It'll always be in the uh, attached pack too, so you always get five attached cards. And I, like I mentioned in the last episode, there's um, <coughs> excuse me, there's four different kinds, of, four different kinds of tar uh, kinds of cards you can get. <laughs> excuse me, there's attached cards, magic cards, item cards, and then there's a variety pack. He doesn't do attack cards here. And you may have noticed these two right here, how they're shiny. These are premium cards. They work pretty much exactly the same as normal ones do. But once you use them in battle, you won't be able to re reload until the end of the battle. So just keep that in mind. I generally don't use them, actually, but if you want to, you, know, you need to go ahead and go for it. Okay, I'm just going to buy some cards here. Just pretty much what I always do, I always go for attack cards first. Since it pretty much makes up the biggest part of your deck anyway. And then I'll be pitching on my deck. Um, before, um, actually, pretty soon, actually. This one, I need to stop my deck first. And that'll work. But yeah, the, the uh, red cards are attack, blue ones are magic, green are items, and this is the variety pack. So let's see, you don't really need that much of magic. Items I'm good with, so I'll get a couple variety packs. Just some more attack cards. Yeah, generally, it's a really good thing to do once you get to a new world. To, as soon as you get a Moodle Shop card, make a room of it, and just reserve that room there, and just, port, or just keep getting Moodle points, and then just keep buying cards in there until you buy out the shop completely. If you have enough time, though, you can actually do it twice. You can make two Moodle rooms and buy all the cards there. Just make extra sure your stock of good cards. Let's see, I think I can sell... Yeah. Now, generally, for weaker cards, I won't keep them around. I'll keep one of each, really. If with the Kingdom Casey is how it's so weak, you don't need many of that at all. All the rest I will keep, though. Let's see... Yeah, you don't need multiple potions, or multiple item cards in general. Let's see, and that's really about it there. I'll get rid of the secure card. Alright then, we're good. Okay, so... To the map real quick, and I've cleared out all the store, all the uh, other rooms too. I made this a teeming darkness room to do some training there. So all I have left is the, the second story room and the last story room down here. And you may have noticed this room up here. Notice the other uh, gold card right there? That is the uh, key to rewards card. We won't be able to use that until we hit the seventh floor. But that will unlock a, uh, a special treasure room with an item that we can get. But yeah, we'll worry about that later. But right now though, let's go ahead and take care of the second story room. Okay, you need any combination of cards that add up to 15. So I'm just gonna try to dump some multiples of cards I have already. Do I have a three somewhere? There you go, perfect. Okay, the second story event is going to start right about now. <laughs> oh, it's Jasmine. And she's kinda in trouble. She's trying to buy just five shadows. They're not really that hard. There goes the second wish. But it was worth it, though. Oh, great. More of them? <laughs> okay, got another random battle here. There's some shadows, we can find those for like forever. You know, the bandit here, and he's fat bandit. Lovely. Ugh, eight fat bandits are so fat and bandit like. Just dodge roll here. And I'll save the fat bandit for last. Let's carry 
Bridge Simba, that's not nice. Okay, Alright, you're done. Hey, that was pretty easy, actually. And we did an Ether. That works the same way as potions, actually. That just quickly restores any magic cards you have. And he's down to his last wish. Yeah, you kinda are. What's that? Um, doesn't sound good. What, the lamp's gone? How? What happened? Oh, it's that guy. Oh, it's Jafar. And somehow he has a lamp. That's not good. Well, he's right about that. We was he was planning on using the lamp to get Jasmine anyway, so. Oh, so that's why he wants to land, so we can marry Jasmine and be king of Agrabah. Well, obviously, we do not want that. Yeah, he does have a point. Well, now what? Jasmine's gone, the lamp's gone, Genie's gone. Yeah, so... I like how Sora is so optimistic about everything. That's really, really nice. You don't see that enough nowadays. Yeah, very true. He's absolutely right. And now Aladdin's done all emo on us. Or not. Okay, mood swings, I guess. Yeah, you can. Of course you can, Donald. Why not? Give me one good reason why we can't walk up to inspect to win. You got an idea. I'm listening. David did the key to church. That is the third key for the just all the story rooms. Uh, let's see. Just ignore all these things here. I don't really need anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, check the map. Let's see. Yep, down and right. Okay, and before the third story reel, I want to fit on my deck real quick. Unfortunately, I can't do it off screen or anything, so I will just go ahead and just make it as fast as possible, guys. So, you'll you have to bear with me, I'm sorry. I'll be quick about it, I promise. Let's play my deck. Okay, did some three wishes. No, I definitely don't want that two in there. No. There you go, that's better. Okay. That's better. See, for this next boss, we won't be needing magic at all besides cure, so don't bother putting any of those, any of those cards in your deck. Just put a bunch of high numbered attack cards, a good, good high numbered cure card, and um, pretty much a high numbered potion. That's really all you need, actually. Pretty simple deck setup, but it'll do the job. Okay then, third and final story room here. Read any red card, so let me see if I have any duplicates of anything here. Oh, no, I'll do late. Oh well, so much for that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we'll have to see what the so-called plan of Aladdin's is. second wish already. Oh, that is a good plan. Cutting of a rat. How dare you? You can't see beyond the cheese. Uh-oh, what's he doing? So he's... Oh, crap. He is now a huge genie. 
But unfortunately, we're gonna have to fight him next time, and let's play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Okay, so yeah, next time we'll be taking it down too far. Uh, this has been our movies, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.